Number 15, open the build an atom simulation, which is this link right here. So if you guys don't have it up right now, there's a link in the description. I think you could click or you could just copy and paste it and it will bring you to the screen that's on the right hand side here. Now, all you gotta do is just click the, this play button and they want you to click the one that says Adam. So you're not going to go to these other two. You're going to click the one that says Adam, all right? So there we go. And now we have this nice little simulation and now we're ready to go on this adventure of drawing an Adam. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to say A and B. All right, so now let's read. It says, drag protons, neutrons, and electrons onto the atom template to make a neutral atom of lithium-6 and give the isotope symbol for this atom. All right, so first things first, let's first write out how many protons we're going to need, how many neutrons we're going to need, and how many electrons, and then from there, we will be able to give a symbol. Now they're already telling us that it's lithium. Lithium is Li. So I know that my symbol has to, gosh, what kind of huge L was that? I know that my lithium has to be an Li, right? And all we gotta do is just fill in the three corners, the top left, the top right, and the bottom left. So just know, ooh, what happened to the bottom left? Here it is. So just know that the top left is always the Z number, which is the mass number. The bottom left is the A number, which is the atomic number. And the top right is always the charge. All right, so those are the three things that you want to hit on when you're dealing with symbols. All right, so let's get it. We got to first start with the protons. That will give you the specific um, element or atom. So if I drag one proton in, it's automatically hydrogen, no matter what. If I drag two protons in, it will be helium, no matter what. And if I draw in three or drag in three protons, it will be lithium. So I know that I need three protons. Now, you guys should know from now, by doing many questions before this, that the atomic number, which is the A number, is the number of protons. So, I know this circle already, right? It's going to be a 3. So, the bottom has to be a 3. So, now I just got to deal with the other 2. Okay. Now... They telling me that we want lithium six, right? Whenever they give you a number next to your element, this is always the mass number, right? Because mass numbers can change for elements. Atomic numbers, however, cannot change. So they would have to give you that information. If they were sneaky, they will not give you the atomic number. You gotta go on the periodic table and find that out. So just have that in the back of your head. So. We should know that the mass number equals protons plus neutrons. So we know that I have three, or we have three protons, and we need a mass number of six. So what's missing? Six equals three plus x. How many neutrons do I have? Three, right? Three plus three is six. So we know that we need three neutrons, so I'm going to put in three neutrons here. One, two, three. And you guys should note that the protons on the neutrons are staying in the nucleus, right? But when we put in the electrons, you'll notice that they don't go in the center. Sorry, when we add the electrons, they don't go into the center. They will go in the electronic cloud around the nucleus. So that's just another key thing. Now... We want a neutral atom. Neutral atom means that our net charge would be equal to zero, right? So we just need to get the correct number of protons and electrons. Your net charge, your net charge is always equal to the number of protons minus the number of electrons, mainly because 
your protons are positive and your electrons are negative. So it's kind of like you're balancing them out. So if we want a net charge of zero to be neutral, and we know that we have three protons, how many electrons should we have? Three minus what will get us zero? Three. And that's how many electrons that we need. So we also need three electrons. So that goes in here. One, two, three. Awesome. And it says right up in the top right corner, it is neutral. So we want that. Um, so now let's just fill in the blanks here. We want a mass number in the top left. We're looking over here. So we know that the mass number is six. They told us that. And the charge would be zero, right? Or you don't even have to put that. You could just leave it blank. So I will just leave this blank. And this would be your answer to the first part. Box this off. You need a six on the top, a three on the bottom, and just lithium. So that's the answer to A. That's the symbol. Now they're saying, now remove one electron to make an ion and give the symbol for the ion that you created. Okay. So it's still going to be lithium, right? And I'm just going to list this out over here. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. Ooh. Electrons. Okay. Now, all they're telling us is that we just want to remove one electron. So did we do anything with the protons? No. So that stays three. Did we do anything with the neutrons? No. So that stays three. But how many electrons do we have now if we removed one? Remove means take one away, right? So I had three, but I'm removing one, so now I should have two. So now I'm just going to put this over here because I have more room. So now let's write out the symbol. And I'm going to remove one electron here, so I'm going to bring one back, right? There we go. And let's see, we need the bottom left, the top left, and the top right. So let's see. The bottom left is always the atomic number. The atomic number comes from the number of protons. That didn't change, so that's three. The top right, or the top left, is the Z number. It's the mass number. Mass number is protons plus neutrons. So 3 plus 3 is 6. That didn't change either. But now the charge will change because charge, I'll write it here, the charge again is always equal to protons minus electrons. We now have three protons and we have two electrons. So 3 minus 2 is a plus 1. Now, it's not, good, it's not a good habit to just put a 1 here. Charges have to have a plus and it has to have a minus. So put plus 1, all right? You could just say plus. That would assume that there's only one there. But just for now, let's just keep it, you know, keep the numbers there just so that you guys know when you look back at your notes. So that's it. So the atomic number, the mass number didn't change. All that changed was the charge. Yeah? Okay, so that's the answer for B. And that's all that they wanted. All right? So that's it, guys. This one was pretty cool. So you guys can work on this, you know, by yourself. Try it out. It's kind of cool to, you know, do like a hands-on type of learning to help you guys out. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for staying to the end. I hope that this helped you guys out a lot. If it did, and if you want to know when our next questions drop in the YouTube world, you could click that subscribe button. That would help you out by knowing that you guys will have, you know, the first look at our questions and also would help us out because it would get the word out to other students like yourself. So thank you for that. And I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you guys in number 16. See you later.